Greetings everyone, and Grade here for another H Powers 3 replay. So on bottom left side as the red Portuguese, we have Kinda Cat. On the right side as the blue Italians, we have a foreign name. Let's see now, let's take a look at see what natives are on the map. Here we've got the Tengri Shrine, which allows you to get access to the Tatar Cavalry Archers, and some, some local doggos. And of course, we do also have the Sufi Mosque, which allows them access to the Grizzly Bosch, a heavy Turkoman cavalry armed with a lance and a bow. Sounds like a hybrid cavalry unit. Well, let's see now. Guess we'll have to wait to see what decks they can pull on the field. Looks like red is on advance up north. The name is Jonah Madaria. I wonder if it's a custom name or a random name. And over here, you have a foreign name who's chosen a a uh, Roman skin for the Italians. Makes sense. We're also not really, <laughs> really related. No deck selected just yet. Nor for the Portuguese. Some of the local bears are going down by red up here. We do have blue iron for this. 70 wood. Started by a local kitty cat. And we've got 75 gold for this uh, bear. And there's a salt mine here. Salt mines do have 10,000 gold storage. The cat does go down as well. Preparado. Okay, she may be eyeing for the coin here, and now let's see what shipment she will go for. Or nothing just yet. There we go. Immediately going for the Federitas. Towns has now provided triple of all resources. It basically all adds up to about one. Uh, you force get multiple town centers for the Portuguese. Economic theory, all sublets fish boats gather faster. Not bad. Wood, gold, pikemen, musketeers. Um, power attack, so it increases the damage of Asadors and Musketeers. Frontier defenses, Silver Smith. Spice trade, villagers gather food from hunted animals, berries, and orchards, bastard. And hire a band of Kandir mercenaries. And Witten allies. And infantry with high hit points to protect nearby units by absorbing some uh, damage reflected to them. I think they're called the Trabants, if I remember correctly. Yeah, deliver eight Trabants. Gold. Alberdeers, Nine Musketeers, Casadors, Dragoons, Dragoon Combat, Artillery Hit Points, Organ Guns, and a Fort. Over here, Gunpowder, Infantry Combat, Range Finding, Mortars get uh, add 3 or 8 range to Bombard Maximum Range, and add 3 to Bombard Attack Maximum Range. Barrage attack, I mean. So, increased range for your mortars, not bad. Plus eight line of sight, then factory, factory. For the Italians, has gone for the small trick of gold, the fast age up, all of rewards are increased. It's easy, how to pronounce that? Ash ships one, build a Balistica wagon, cause Lombards to trickle EXP while constructing. Uh, converting investments. Levis one church wagon adds one to the build limit, enables auto XP. Monte de Pita ships one Lombard wagon and deposits some coin in your Lombards, which gives, of course, can be converted to wood. The Sinis financiers deposits a medium uh, amount of food to your Lombards, 800 to the investment, which of course gives wood and gold. He does spot the additional town center for the Portuguese right there, putting it right next to the gold mine, throwing some torches onto it. Sounds the big. siege attack is 15, so it's pathetically small. Uh, passive ears, so a crossbow with a large shield providing hit points, different effects each stance, infantry hit points, uh, Stefani swords, increases the hand attack of all cavalry and infantry, so attack card, atta uh, hand attack card. Croatian company, 300, 300, 300, ships a number of Karbats and Shivani, 6 and 7, so 13 units. Uh, deposit of uh, 1,200 wood into your Lombards, uh, deposit a medium amount of coin, 1,200 coin to your Lombards, cavalry combat. 
Oh, I just realized something as well. We've got crossbows not engaging. Getting some hits there on the architect. Also an outpost here now. Very nice. And he has set up like a bit of a circle defense. Forest the town center and the outpost will be fine away. The complex center only has 18 attack at the moment. Outpost has 30 attack. Let's see, Cavalry Combat, Falconets, Albion Company, 4-4, Stratus and Paws next. German Company, 6 Jaegers, giant, 5 Giant Grenadiers, Black Company, 5 Black Riders, 6 Armored Perseveres. Let's take out that Lombard there. I think it's a little bit too late to look at the rest of the cards now. One Lombard's gone down, currently he has 800 food deposit on in. And now got the Ballisca to go down. Has by one EXP per second as well. Taking quite a bit of damage. Crossbows do have pathetically poor siege damage of 8. The pikemen have a more respectable of 32. And which she may only have like 3, maybe just 2 there. Yeah, 3 there. Turning for the town center of damage now. Supposedly still in range of town center. And does have 24 attack up and going. Mostly oh, starting to build a housing back here and a lombard with his architect. Well, it's like a, you can quite a bit of damage there. The Italians right now is not pulling out his own population space, so can't even get a shipment on in. This house will be soon be constructed. Very good. That's using all his architects to build that there. Those lose the Balasica there. Balasica. Explorer does go up. We're advancing forward. He needs to get a shipment of military units on in. He needs a slight amount of wood to get the coalition company. He needs to get. He could go for the past years instead. Of course, the company is a little bit larger. But we could definitely put on pop cap as well. That was good. Architects inside of there. And the coalition company will soon be at the pool. Yep, now you can get the coalition company. There's the coalition company. At this current rate, you probably should have gone for passive. Passive is, passive ears, because he is also going to ship another now. Maybe a good idea to go for one of the uh, deposits. I know he has plenty of food in there, so maybe the go, uh, coin deposit? Get that conversion rate going. Let's take out the outpost wagon there. And the town's have been slowly whittling down these horses. Some good damage there. Coalition company is almost full on field. He is going to get the coin. Also delivers one Lombard wagon as well. There's Coalition company. These sub. How to pronounce that? Is specialized light infantry. The only counter is light infantry. So it's a skirmisher who does bone sandwich for the skirmishers look like. And the Kerbots, which are Irene. They have good range attack. No additional bonus damage. It's a weird Dragoon variant, I guess. Counter Heavy Cav and Hand Combat. Benefits promotions. Provides some decent range damage. Low range, though. So, definitely unique units. I do have some Ken Nears point of field. Heavy Infantry. More of an Abbas Gun variant. You also siege damage at range as well. This house is going to go down and take out this housing like, is important right now. He knows his opponent has gone for the black company or the Croatian company, which means he's going to have trouble building out more units. And he's villagers here over here to build out some more housing. He does currently have two Lombards here.
past the rest of the villagers outside the town center. Doesn't really. Eh, it's supposed to give one out lombards so will allow them to convert this stuff quicker. Going to get some medium amount of food in there as well. Does it pull out a lombard wagon as well? No, it does not. And he already has plenty of food inside the inside the lombard, so this is probably not a good call in. You may want to hold off on that. He probably should have gone for advanced politicians. He could have got uh, his next age up pretty quickly. Because he just still has a thousand food inside. Explorer there, very nice. He has gone to the next age, the adventurer. And he's not popular space to pull out more villagers. Of course, he has been pop population blocked for a long time. He has half the villagers in his opponent. There's a good number of pikemen deployed on the field, as well as a number of hand cannoneers and a musketeer. Portuguese player does have shipment as well. He's going for the marksman. He's a damage on those villagers. <coughs> oh. oh, uh, well, enjoy then. Are you the foreign name? Are you the Italian player? Or are you the Portuguese player? <clears throat> we do not have the Arbats pushing back up north. We got a number of passive ears deployed on the field. More of the Lombards being deployed on out. He has consumed all his wood and gold in there. I also say maybe just throw some more wood and gold in there just to get those conversion rates going. We've got Halberdier is not being pulled on the field. He is currently pop capped as well. And looks like the Explorer will find the cover wagon. Will not likely kill it off there. The cover wagon is classified as not as a villager. Build limit four of three. And so the Portuguese player appears cannot deploy it out. Or no, that's just a covered wagon itself. He can't deploy it out. He's kind of a cat. Well, I'm sort of kind of a fox. <laughs> See? Got a bit of damage there on to the villagers there. The Italian player has not deployed out additional villagers. But stand to get more housing. Architects trying to build him some more housing. And he has to pause some resources in the lumbars, getting them converted up or out. Let's See. How was the conversion rate of Lombards? I swear, if I would ever play the Italians, I would definitely create a macro in order to maximize the Lombards. Because if you get five Lombards, assume it consumes each one at one per second. Ready to go for industrial? Uh, potentially, he has quite a bit of resources to talk about up. He has researched the uh, advanced politicians as well. For the Italians, I could see somebody going for a 
macro to maximize this. Assuming each one goes down by one per second, you have five on the field. That means, say, every time you pause it in, calculate the macro of five times consumes the previous one. You can just hit a so it automatically deposit them in to get the maximized trade effort. Because if it sounds like it gets one, puts one in and put gets two out, which is actually very good to say the least. Ah, you play Portuguese the most. And if I guess uh, actuality, you don't have well you only have three town centers. A lot of people I still see a large number of town centers. By the way, you can still just see a bit of damage there. They have to the fairies there. There's Industrial Age. I'm not sure what uh, the politician brought on in. He does have a good piece of force here of 31. Over here. a uh, much larger force of uh, 48. He does have a decent number of halberdiers. Halberdiers, perhaps, we have a decent siege attack. Here's here as well. We do have some uh, paper guards now mixed on in as well. Barracks champion for on field. He's now going for a barracks. It looks like the Italian stores are starting to disintegrate to the just a large number of the Portuguese. Plus organ guns. Those always hurt or help. One of two. Apparently both. Architects do go down. Some of this infrastructure is going to be torched. And that's probably going to be the end of the game. No military force field. Not like you can build out or watch enough military force. Yep, does back the game now. It's Anne Gracie. Thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.